Hi everyone, so before I get to the speed recording, here's a quick tip for turning your flat shapes into an isometric projection. So I have my end result here. This shape comes from Illustrator and I want that in Affinity. Of course, you can use the double arrow handle that appears when you're over the middle point of the side, but this is quicker and more precise. So you can draw a square, rotate it by 45 degrees, and now you'd want to be able to scale it down but only affect its height and not its width. And for this to happen, you'd need to have that shape inside a square to drag it down from the top, and the solution here is to simply group it. Now it's in a square and you can scale its height down. And the great thing is, it edits the actual vector coordinates, so it's not an effect applied to the group. So you can take that shape out of the group while keeping its updated values. I'll leave you now with the rest of the project. It's a pack of floating icons representing renewable energy. So we have turbines, a dam, and solar panels. I encourage you to try vector isometrics if you haven't already. It's a great way to build a scene without any knowledge in perspective, which is usually what stops many creatives because it requires a bit of drawing practice. But if you're going for isometric, the only thing you have to pay attention to is to keeping your horizontal and vertical objects parallel to each other uh, and remain consistent with the direction of your shadows. Mm -hmm.